Guys, it's a tragic day. Moomin Valley has ten things to do and I believe we've done them all. Unless you got something, Sniff. And nope. Didn't think so. None of you three can think of a single thing to do. You're useless, aren't you? Jeez, Mai, is this abrasive tone how you got noticed by your emotionally neglectful mother? It's worked so far. Well, look, maybe I do sleep 16 hours a day, and my knees ache when I go down the stairs, and I never feel rested no matter what I do anymore, and the daunting realization that my physical strength may never be again what it once was puts me into a spiraling depression. But that doesn't mean I'm completely useless. Hey, you all, I got a letter for you. That must be for my sister from the crazy people hospital. She had to go back, you know. She had so much self-inflicted pressure and stress that she popped a blood vessel. Her eye was just beet red. No young lady that broke my legs. It's for Moom and Papa. Can't you read? I knew there was something I forgot to learn in school. Jane, dear God, no. Dad, who did you kill? Dear, whatever it is, it was a long time ago, and I'm sure you can't be arrested at this point. No, no, it's nothing like that. I kind of wish it was. Come on, talk. Who's Jane? <laughs> Jane is my paternal aunt. Oh, boo, I was hoping you had a secret kid. Paternal? But, dear, aren't you an orphan? Well, no, not exactly. My parents just couldn't take care of me. That's why they left me in that crooked orphanage. It's not just because we're mushing the book continuity with the comic continuity. And my Aunt Jane is coming tomorrow! Wow, so I actually have an entire day to clean for once before unexpected visitors show up? But I don't like her, and I don't want her to come for a visit. How dare you suddenly become the most relatable character? She's just such a rich, filthy capitalist. A rich capitalist? Always putting value on other people's lives based on how supposedly useful they are, how hard they work, their social class, all that absolute garbage that keeps the rich richer and the poor constantly giving the rich more money but the rich refuse to let them even get a foot in the door. Why do I write such long sentences? Maybe she'll give us high paying jobs with benefits, maybe even dental. Why would she want to come to a socialist utopia like Moomin Valley? She said in the letter she wants to discuss money. Just thinking about it makes me tired. But she says there's no one else left to discuss it with. Why don't you just tell her you don't want to? Aunt Jane is a terror of a woman. If you have an emotion other than happiness, she yells at you for inconveniencing her. She's the kind of relative you see on Christmas and at funerals that you just idly chat with about school or work, and you never let her know anything about yourself because you would feel like you were just wasting her time. Dear, you just described everyone in my family that isn't my grandmother. I knew there was a reason we connected. She's suspicious and judgmental, and despite being a filthy capitalist, she thinks money is a terrible burden. I wouldn't mind shouldering her burden and figuring out how to legally not pay my taxes. Snork has been in the hangar for days, probably eating nothing but Hot Pockets and pissing in half-drunk soda cups. It's about time he had his weekly vegetable. Oh! My psychic premonition was right! Snork! <coughs> Fortune told me it would work. The Annans have betrayed me. So Moomin Papa has a rich aunt? Oh good, your ears are working again. Why don't you ask her to invest in your flying machine now that it's been totally leveled? Uh, but if she's one of those Philly junk capitalists, they tend to not like people who aren't already rich. Then again, they do love small business owners that they can get more money from. I suppose there's no harm in asking. Okay, lightning round for motivation establishment, go! My sub-flower research is at a standstill, I need a lab and equipment. Mom and Papa's rich aunt is coming over, you should ask her to invest! Yes! I don't know if this is where mustache would normally grow on me, but I've decided to own the look. Alright, off lady, I got places to go. You, over there! Are you talking to me? Of course I am, who else? Do you know the way to Moomin House, young man? I mean, sure, it's tall and blue and the only well-made building around here. Just go that way, you can't miss the thing. Excellent, carry my bag, won't you? Oh, sorry lady, I'm pretty busy. You will be paid for the labor then. Think again, young man. Keep your money, I'm fine. What? what, what? Yeah, I mean, healthcare is free, I catch and gather my own food, and even if I didn't, there's no shortage around here. I'm a forest hippie, so I have no bills or taxes to pay, and I'm not really one for possessions I don't need. But why don't you have to pay for any of that? I don't- Jane, I heard you were coming to visit. Give me your bag, that'll be $50.
Wait, what are we using Finland? 50 euros. Wait, is that a lot? Is that a little? I guess this is an anime, though. 5,000 yen. I think that rounds up. Just give me your money. Okay, get your story straight. I died tragically of the plague last fall on October 18th. You're all still very shaken, but are getting by. I had a Viking funeral, so don't bother looking for a grave. All right, I'm going to find Snufkin and ask him where a good pub south of the valley is and hide out there. Okay, bye. I love you. Love you too, sweetums. Typical of my nephew to build a hippy dippy house instead of a nice colonial. Hello, welcome to Moomin House. I'm, I, I was your nephew's wife, and, and this is our son, Moomin. Let's get this out of the way. How do you feel about bisexuals? This one's awfully small for a daughter. Oh, little Mai's not ours. She just likes to stay here. Her mother lives east of here and has her hands full with ten other children right now, and her older half-sister is currently in a mental facility recovering from a breakdown. And I won't get any bigger due to an undiscovered medical anomaly. Yep, physical abnormality. How do you like that? She's like a member of the family in that she was a total accident. And where's my worthless nephew? Oh, he's not coming. He, uh, is dead. Very tragic. Last fall, we're all still very shaken. You had a Viking funeral, so don't look for a grave. No obituary either. Inconsiderate boy, I come here to see him and he goes and dies on me. Maybe you can see me instead. Yes, get to know your great nephew. He's a sweetie and so much like his father. Moomin wants to try to get disability benefits. <laughs> I'll take your money. Come on, just, just, just give me some of your money. Yeah, Sniff's like family. He's Papa's old friend's son. He was an accident too. Hmm, <laughs> not very biological, though. Let's go for another lightning round. Hello, Aunt Jane. I'm Snorkbane. This is my brother, Snork. He's inventing the airplane. He needs money. Hello, Miss Jane. My sister and your great nephew are romantic partners, so the Snorks and Moomins might one day be officially family by law. Please fund my airship. Sponsor it. You got a company logo? I'll slap a sticker on the side. Just please, I need this. The Moomin Valley government won't give me a grant. They keep lying to me and telling me someone named Hodgkins already did this. An interspecies relationship? How absurd! I'm the Hamulin. I'm a botanist. I need shit. Give me your money. You're not even claiming to be fake related to my family! But we could open a flower shop and make lots of money after I find a space plant that's voiced by a Motown singer. I already have money! That's the problem! When I'm famous for my botanical research, Aunt Jane- That's supposed to be the other guy's motivation! You people can't even keep your line straight! How are you going to keep your reasoning? Don't worry, Jane. I'll threaten them with a broom until they leave. Here's your room. <laughs> Plain. Here's your bag! What do you want from me? Some sort of reward? Um, would I get one if I tell you where Moomin Pop is? Yes, I know his remains are at sea. What if I told you he faked his death? Where's my nephew, you harpy? Don't do this to me. Hurry up! He's hiding from you because you're a racist, homophobic, raging capitalist monster who hates the physically different and the disabled. I did this now myself, but so far I'm the only one in this parody series without a body count and I was hoping to keep it that way. Hey Janie, I'm about to make your life so much harder than you could have ever dreamt. Checkmate. No! I'm just gonna casually rub it in your face how much I owned you there. Alice Napkin! Now don't you take that tone with the- Oh, Jesus. Movement, Papa! What? Movement, Papa! My years of therapy ruined in a matter of seconds! Oh, dear. Oh, oh, help! Oh. You just wait! Oh. I'll get you! Oh, dear. Lady, you're an oppressive presence, and I'm asking you politely to please leave. Why are you afraid of me, young man? I think Snufkin summed it up pretty well. I don't listen to crossbreeds! Sweet Jesus in a birch bark canoe, this is what I'm talking about. You're just this vicious, venomous person. You're just terrible, and so is your money. It's perfectly good money, and all in gold coins. Gold coins? What are you, Scrooge McDuck? No, I take that back. At least Scrooge McDuck liked his family. Listen to me. I need you as my sole heir to inherit my money and invest wisely. No, I don't want it. Why don't you just distribute your wealth to those who really need it? You ungrateful little... <laughs> She's crazy. Uh, don't worry, we'll, we'll think of something. You would just throw my money to the poor without a second thought. 
I, I didn't mean to hurt you, Aunt Jane. I would never stoop to your level like that. Why don't we just put your money in a bank, and when you die, I'll worry about it then. I could give it to Moomin so he can live comfortably. I give a little to Sniff or some to the Snorks, and you know... Distribute your wealth. What the fuck are you talking about? They didn't earn it. I don't understand how you could just give someone money. Okay, um, everybody, we're going to go home now and have a proper welcome party for Aunt Jane. And remember to just surround her in your physically different mixed family gay pride love. Yay! This was my grandma's best cake recipe. I lived with her, see, instead of my parents for a good portion of my life. She taught me everything I needed to know, and got checks from the government so I was all taken care of. Hmm. Let's have a toast to the only filthy rich capitalist tyrant in our small diverse circle, which includes gays, bisexuals, pansexuals. I know we at least have one asexual in here. Pretty sure it's Snork Maiden. Hemulin, you're aromantic, right? And also, the mentally disabled, physically disabled, whatever little Mai has going on. Anyway, a toast to Mimble Jr. May she recover well. Cheers! Cheers! Just take my money and let me leave this horrible Orwellian nightmare. Alright! I have no idea what the hell happened today. <laughs>